Welcome to Happy Hour Art Beginner Sketching to Drawing Tutorial Lesson 8. This is going to be a perspective drawing. It's going to be combining all the things that you have learned in Lesson 7 and putting it into a landscape drawing. So first things first, what you want to get ready is take out your B pencil, 2B, 3B, eraser and a ruler. For this project you may specifically use a ruler. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be combining all the things that you have done for the 1 point, 2 point and 3 point perspective drawings and putting them together in a kind of landscape drawing. Now you can choose to do a cityscape or a countryside drawing so I'm going to do a cityscape in this case. So I'm going to start off with drawing my horizon line then basically just start off with drawing random lines here. So this is my vanishing point. I might decide to do drawing like that. Okay, and there we go. And then I'm going to draw a line like that. And there we go. So we're going to start off with kind of like a road scenario or a cityscape. A cityscape is basically a landscape drawing where you actually draw buildings. So that's what we're going to be doing. So this exercise, you would need a ruler for that. So I'm going to draw my vanishing point anyway on the horizon line. Make sure that you actually use your ruler to go through each point. So there we go. Just so you can get a random scene. Like that. Okay. So this is going to be random lines like that. Okay, like that. So each line kind of basically goes through a point. Okay, there we go. So you're going to start off with a line like that. Then you're going to do kind of something like this. Okay, then another drawing like that. You can, of course, do this without a ruler, which I highly encourage, but this is a lot of fun to kind of learn. You know, it's a fun exercise. And you want to make sure that you draw your lines exactly. So there we go. Draw another building line like that. Yep. Okay. <coughs> Perpendicular lines. Okay. So this is going to be like one building. Okay. If you make a mistake, you can still erase it. So do that like this. Okay. Kind of do random buildings. I like to do random buildings like that. Okay. And you can go higher, you can go lower, it doesn't matter. So I'm going to go higher in this case, from there. Okay, I don't really have much space on my page. <coughs> so this is going to be like a lower building. There we go, here. Then each time the lines are going to go through to here. Go. So that's a back building, but you can't really see it. And you can, of course, do the same thing on an iPad, by the way. Yep. <coughs> so this is one section of a building. I'm going to erase this line because we don't need it. That's just for it easier for you to kind of see. So. Go. 
And over here, I'm creating a street scene, so I'm probably going to do like windows and things like that. So, kind of quickly going to do that. And just very lightly go through this side. Okay, so these are windows. So you might want to decide where you're going to put your window here. So for the darkening part, you want to kind of just go over there. Another window. Actually, your window can go more like that. And here. So it might look a little bit weird, but like you can do another one. So you go here. Just do another one here. There you go. Kind of there. This line is going to look on the horizon. It should actually go out like that. So it should be more here, I think. So there you go. There you go. Another one. Another one there. I'm just doing going along with it. Okay, here we go. It's a window. And of course, you can <clears throat> rest this out. So if your drawing gets a bit dirty, which it will, it's going to happen quite a bit. Uh -huh. So here I want to make like pavement. So I'm going to go around there's my pavement. There's my other pavement piece. Go like that. Okay. And so maybe this side. I want to draw another window here. Who knows? Just any angle. Doesn't have doesn't have to be anything specific. There, there. Okay, got that. So this is going to actually kind of bother me, so I want to erase that out. There we go. Oh, okay. And then, kind of go like this. Go like that. So hang on a second. Hold on. Oopsie. So this is gonna kind of go here, and then I want to kind of do that. Going like here, here. So let's do a door for change. See how that's gonna work out. Just for fun. This is two point perspective, by the way. You may have noticed that. So, yeah, okay. So, this is a door, and here, this is the corner of the building. So, I'm going to kind of get that into perspective. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so, here, I want to do like maybe another tall building. So, what I'm going to do is draw like another line. Okay, I've got this thing preventing me from going up, so it's kind of really difficult to do that. And I've got another line from here, the side, to there. So maybe I want to draw like another building going like this. Okay. And then kind of matching the line. I'm going to change the angle. <clears throat> line goes through there. So this is kind of a building that's going to do this. Okay. So the good thing about this is you kind of learn um, what that the further away something is, the smaller that it actually looks. Okay. So now I've got my windows intact. And as you go further down here, you can basically see nothing. You might want to like decide to do, okay. 
So for the line that you don't need, once you've constructed it, you can kindly erase them out. Get rid of go. I don't need this line anymore. That one. So this is kind of like, almost like, I would say, a draft drawing or like architectural drawing. Okay, so this is an exterior drawing. Maybe I want to do like no window here. Right, so let's work on this side. So starting on this side, I want to kind of do this. This is going to be one point perspective. And I want to do another line going like this maybe. And I've got buildings coming along here. Um, I've had students actually do like a street scene or sometimes they would do like, there was one that was particularly interesting. Um, he did like a like a bridge in the middle. He had a bridge here. And he had two buildings going that side. That was quite interesting. Drawing that he did. I really liked it. Um, so yes. And... go I've got this drawing going here okay and then put another piece here so let's take this out go here nope let's do this one here go here Take that out. Put another building drawing here. So, yep. Nope. Draw another one here. So just kind of go through here, go through here. And then, of course, um, Let's draw another window this side. So I might want to draw windows this side. I'm not really sure yet. Let's see how I feel. So again, you need to draw from the vanishing point each time. So there you go. Two dots. Oh, okay. <coughs> Let's do a window here. Draw the one there. the lines okay this is not looking as neat as I'd hoped so my drawing is getting pretty smudgy here I think so I'm just kind of dirty <coughs> so yeah just want to kind of do this one okay so here I could do something as well but I'm not going to do that just kind of leave it so this is a nice street scene and you can each time just kind of clean up here and you can use a paintbrush by the way or a brush to wipe away or like a kind of like a broom brush to wipe away any kind of um, pencil markings. So I don't know why for some reason this today is just kind of getting all messy. Okay, so there we go. And I want to kind of do, I'm not sure if I want to do another window here. Let me think about it. Oh, let's do a door. Just for the fun of it. So we can do like a door. There we go. Okay. Maybe another building. Just kind of give it perspective again. Okay. So this is a street scene. Obviously, this is a very small sketchbook, so I can't go too tall with it. But yeah, you get the idea. And of course, this is being a street scene. You kind of want to do like something like this and kind of give your road a sign like that. Maybe like 
you could do like a traffic light if you want to, or you could do, hang on, this is not going to work. So let's do this one like this, put it like that. <coughs> so again, start from the vanishing point, go very lightly. No, this doesn't actually look right to me. Alright, so I suppose you're wondering how I'm going to do a light. So let's show you on one side. Maybe I want to draw like a sign. So I'm going to kind of do that again. I'm going to kind of decide where. Go to this side. And then go again. That side. Each time I start from my vanishing point, you may have noticed that. So I'm going to draw a line here and then kind of go straight here. Okay, so there. Then I'm going to have my line meet up here and that vanishing point there. And then again there. So you want to do like bits and pieces. There we go. Kind of do that. And then like this. And then like this. Okay. And just kind of do here. <clears throat> and then I'm going to clean up here. So take away some of the line drawings. <clears throat> So I want to make like a sign. So I'm trying to decide where I should put it. I could put it this way or I could put it that way. I think I'm going to start from here and then just lightly draw a line. Okay. But I want to make my sign kind of go here. So I have to decide. All right. Okay. So this part, let's draw this part here. Very lightly, kind of go up to that line, perpendicular. Okay. Uh oh. How did that one not work out? Oh no. Okay, there we go. Hold on. So let's do this part first. Okay, and then for some reason it's kind of getting smudgy now. Go straight and do that. Okay, it's not going to be perfect. Okay, so my building line is kind of already raised again. So I have to kind of redo that again. Okay. Or I could take this out. Now you could do various interiors. You could do like a passage in your house. You could do like without a ruler, um, which is the recommended sort of drawing. Okay, so now I wanted to do like a sign. I could either go this way. I'm thinking I'm, thinking I'm just going this way or no sign or I could do like a light sign you know you could do a street scene with a light sign now okay or I might actually just take out the whole thing let's take it out because I think it's too confusing for you so there you go sorry guys sometimes that happens and I'm not going to edit the video for this reason just so you can see what can happen. Okay. All right, now let's get to the shading bit. So you want to decide which side to basically do the shading for your building. So let's pretend the light is going to come from this way. So um, if light's coming from this side, that means everything on this side is going to be a different shade. So if you can remember back to shading your cubes or form drawing, it's going to look just like that. Okay. <clears throat> Actually, I want to do this drawing here. So now I'm going to keep some of my lines in. So you can switch to a 3B or 2B pencil, whichever way you want to make this. Uh, I'm going to use my 3B straight away. So I'm going to start with gentle shading so because this side is kind of light I really want to kind of do everything that's kind of 
and I'm picking up my pencil and I'm not colouring in. It looks like I'm colouring in. A lot of people make that mistake. They like to uh, colour in. Okay, so I'm going to do this. Gently pick up your pencil. I'm going to start very light with this, not too heavy. Okay. So another thing that you can do, of course, um, I'm thinking of, let's take my pencil, let's do the interior windows. That's going to be quite cool. So what you're going to do again, you draw your line from there to there. You can actually draw it above and very lightly like that. And you've got a line coming here, each corner. And you're going to go up. So you're going to draw the inside of your windows. So this is actually a good exercise to kind of see that. So you want to have like your windows go parallel. There we go. And that's the inside of my windows. And again, very lightly. Okay. So this drawing is very small. And so I'm going to keep this kind of clean. So because the light's coming here, or maybe you just want to do like the inside of your window. Not too much. Do that, do that. Very lightly, give it a bit of shadow there and there. Okay, and you're not going to do anything on the inside because that's like already done. And you can erase the in between bits just to get rid of these lines, keep the outside. So, this is like very basic. Okay, here we go. And then, here. Again, because you're not having any light, you can come through this side, do a little bit of shading this side. This is a perspective drawing using a ruler or a cityscape drawing. It's a fun exercise. I like to do either a street scene. Um, if you were a child and you did like a road scene, one point perspective, that would be the same. You could do either a house or you could do a cityscape depending on your level okay so this side I'm going to clean here and then I'm going to kind of do this here so basically if the lights coming from this side so basically this is going to be kind of the light but this Going to be more dark now this side is completely dark because the light's coming from this side so think of the shadow in your buildings so you're not going to see this side too much so here you would kind of get something to this effect okay much darker And you want to lift your pencil, kind of do it like this, okay, and then like that. It's not totally correct, but so this side's going to be darker, and I'm going to do the shading for each one, kind of like that. Just gentle. Okay, and then sort of like this as well, like this, okay, and then Kind of each part just gentle dark to medium to light. You could have of course shaded like this, but I'm not going to do that. Leave that down. If your hand gets a little bit smudgy, you can put a piece of paper here. So
So I'm going to kind of do this just to add it like that. Basic drawing. Not my best, but I'm following the form. Go like that. Lifting the pencil up each time. Again here. Okay, and then here, so you want to kind of reach the perspective part here, so go like that, and kind of do this. As you can see, I'm doing kind of lines from the, controlling my pencil. You might also move your sketch pad around, you don't have to have it like, in the same position each time. I'm going really, really, really quick here. You can go much slower if you want to. Slow down, redo it again, erase. I'm just going really, really fast. Okay. So of course this is like the background there. So here's kind of like the pavement or the sidewalk, depending on which country you come from. Pavement sidewalk. <clears throat> and then here, um, I've got a bit of light coming this side, so I'm not going to do this. Again, the light's coming here, so I want to kind of do the same what I've done there. Just keep your shadows for your building to give it a three-dimensional look. And again, the same here. This is a very, very quick drawing. You can, of course, make it more elaborate and much more complicated than this. So, and of course, this side um, is not getting enough sun, so you kind of want to do this here. Again, keep it to the same angle or perpendicular, as they say. Not going to do too much here. Okay, I've had students actually do like landscapes before I mentioned it and trees and things like that. So it really depends on what you want to do. This is just one example. So here I can kind of decide do I want a road, do I want no road. It really depends. Um, just clean up your drawing a bit. Go over the important lines, okay. So this is kind of a very basic perspective drawing. I've done it in 30 minutes. You can, of course, do way more complicated than this. So I'm gonna clean it up a bit. Just do that with it. Spot on there and do there and done. And you can label this perspective drawing or perspective landscape. For perspective landscape I do recommend that you actually practice or look at the two-dimensional or the two-point perspective sorry and three-point perspective and one-point perspective video before you do this to get a better understanding of course you can also do an interior you can be sitting in one end of your house and doing a passage or a wall you could be doing it like this where you have the door and maybe like something like that. So this is one exercise to understand that things, perspective also teaches you about space, things that are further away are smaller, things that are closer to you are bigger in size. And there you have it.